Hello, this is Virginia Lloyd Davis, and I'm going to show you how to color some frogs. Uh, there are two ways of painting frogs. One is the boneless technique, where you use all the color on the brush to make the strokes. And the other way is to do an outline first and then fill in the outline. And uh, I've done a, a, a fun painting. I think it's fun anyway. And I'm going to color it now. So um, I'm going to switch cameras and show you what I've done. So here I have three naughty frogs. I don't know what they're up to, but I definitely know they're up to no good. And somebody didn't get invited to the party and, and he or she is up here eavesdropping and wishing wishing he or she could join the party. This is a, a tomato frog. It really is called a tomato frog and it's, a, it's red, very red and actually you find it around tomatoes. So I'm going to... This is carmine and I'm going to give it some carmine and I think probably a little orange as well. So here's some orange, this makes it a, a brighter uh, red, more, more towards a scarlet. So I've got the, a lot of colour on the tip and halfway up and then of course the rest is is water this paper may be a bit dry so i may need a little bit more water uh, we'll find out when i start the first few strokes a little bit more orange here and i can even go to a darker red this is a uh, rouge tint over here and I'll try some rouge tint on the brush. There she is. She always poses for the camera. So I'm going to start off by coloring her eye sockets here. These are, I don't know what they are, maybe they're eyebrows. And then I can see what kind of color I've got. So you can see I'm, I'm following the lines of the face. I don't want to uh, just put the brush anywhere. I want the, uh, the brush strokes to really follow the, the lines of the face. So there's her face. And her, the chest is usually, it could be orange or yellow, and really, when you're painting frogs, you can make it any color you want. So I'm mixing a little bit more of this orangey red. And let's do her arms now. See, I'm not covering all of it because I will go back with a little lighter color and fill in and then and then she'll have more gradation see that's a little lighter and so here this is this is the back of the head frogs actually don't have necks I know that seems a bit strange but they they don't have necks. That I can see is starting to run over the edge of the line. So by pressing on it with my finger, that should slow slow it down. Doesn't matter if it come, goes over the, uh, the line. Frankly, if you look at uh, paintings by Shi Bai Shu, uh, he goes over the line with his colors often so I don't think we should 
worry about that too much. And here is this lovely webbed back foot. I think I'm going to add a little bit more orange to that. Just to give a little variety. And to her fingers as well. And I like to put yellow or yellowy orange in the eye here. It just adds a little There we go. And so now all we have to color is the inside of her chest. And that's going to be lighter. It tends to be lighter on all frogs. So I'm just uh, adding, adding water to my brush. I've got enough color on it. So that'll be fine. I'm adding more water as I'm going down. So there she is. She's a saucy miss. And uh, she always poses. Always looks at the camera and poses. And these could be her courtiers. These, these two other frogs. This one's definitely naughty. Uh, they're, they're, they're up to something and, and uh, frogs of course they're always looking for the females now we could make this one brown and this one green or um, shades of orange and green it, it's really up to you because there are so many different colors with frogs that uh, anything goes really so I'm just putting some uh, brown on my brush. I think I'm going to do this one brown because the leaves next to him will be green. So here we are. This is the ear and that's usually a little lighter. So I've just added a little bit more water to that. down a bit okay so you see this there's, there's still some some red in there from my brush um, I'm gonna see what comes see there's more more red coming through but I'm not filling it in too carefully because I may want to add some other colors so there's that front hand and I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some yellow here I can see it's it's becoming a, a, quite an orangey yellow because of what I've already got on the brush and I haven't rinsed the brush sometimes you can get some lovely shades by not rinsing the brush it's like having a, a messy saucer. It's exciting because you don't know what's going to come out. So there we are, and uh, we can we can give give this one a little greenish yellow. It, it could have a, a like a stripe of greenish yellow here. They often do. And then I'm going to fill in the belly. It's going to spread, so I'm going to 
halt it in its tracks. There we go. And there. So, um, need a color for the eye. The eyes can be um, orange, yellow, even green. I think some of them have red in there. But I think I'm going to make it a fairly bright yellow. There we go. Definitely a, a saucy, naughty one. And you can always add other colors while it's still wet. You know, you might want to add a few more colors in there. All right. So now we have the question of this one. What color is this one going to be? Um, hmm. Well, it uh, it could be blue. Why don't we make it blue? And for the blue, I've got a um, a bright, quite a bright blue here, and I I might even put in uh, some mineral blue too. Move that up a bit. Get that one on. Right. Okay. Ooh, that's very bright, isn't it? Gosh. Maybe a little brighter than I had in mind, so I'll add a bit more water. Color in the ear, and uh, we can always think of other colors that we want to have go with this. So that uh, you know, for things like the eye, if we want to, uh, usually a gold golden eye will show up nicely on that. I'm going to do a. Um, really little line down like that. I'm going to fill something in there. It might be yellow. And this hand. Frogs have four fingers in front. And uh, I think four fingers and four toes in back. Let's... Uh, See what this does. Ooh, I like that because where where it's touching the blue, it's it's getting a little bit of green. That's nice. On the hands. Yeah. Okay. So then we do the legs. And all right, and we we could give it a a light blue belly, uh, or we could leave it white. I think we're probably going to want it colored. Hmm. Maybe we'll leave that for a bit. I'm just going to add a little bit here to soften this line because this is still the back. All right. Just a few little touches of that yellow. So there we have this wicked trio. And um, 
just going to add a little orange to that third one's eye. Go. And now let's look at this one over here. I think this one's going to be yellow and orange. So, since I've got yellow on this brush, I'm going to do some yellow in there. And yeah, I'm just really just playing with it here. Okay, that's the other hand. And this is the other eye, eye socket, eyebrow. I'm not sure what you'd call it. Yeah, so the, that's those two. And laying the brush like that, so I get a little bit of a stripe down like that. Okay. All right, so we're going to do some dots down here on the arms and legs. Is this big leg? I don't know if its leg would really look like that. Who knows? Anyway, that's the front. And now, yeah, okay. We even have some green in there. I don't want to have a lot of green because the, the leaves are going to be green and brown, I think, mostly. So, Let's, let's see, maybe, maybe a little bit. That's such a nice color. That's the olive green from uh, Marie's Colors. All right, and let's get back to that orange. And orange feet, or could even be reddish feet. So that's the other arm. And the leg over there. You might want to make it a little lighter. Because it's uh, we're seeing the the inside of the leg, and the, the inside of the leg is usually a bit lighter. So just making it a little softer in color. But the toes, of course, we can give them a nice bright color. All right, so the only thing we need to finish now is uh, the, uh, some kind of belly line. I noticed that I, I haven't actually painted a belly line in, so uh, we can just maybe a little soft brownish, just to finish that off. Okay, all right. Um, now, since it's got uh, it's an orange one, we can 
we could go with an olive eye, I think. Again, just to, to do a little bit of contrast. Yeah. So I need some greenish colors and some brown. So here's my nice messy saucer. I love messy saucers. So here we have some green colors happening here. My sauce is probably a bit too wet, but it's all right. So this is this one's in front. So let's give it a dark color. You see it's got quite a bit of color there and I'm changing the color as I do it. All right, and the one he's on, let's, let's make it dark down at the bottom, but it'll probably get lighter as it comes up. Although we still want it to be blue because that's going to show him off. See, it's already a he in my mind. Probably was when I was painting it. You know, I don't plan these paintings out. They just sort of appear. And uh, that's how this one appeared. So I'm going to put a bit darker color on there and bring that down uh, and then add a little bit of yellow so it's a bit brighter. I don't want to run into the into the frog. I don't want my colors to run into the frog. So I'm going to give it a little space there. All right. So this one could be it could be um, a lighter yellow uh yellowish green or i could add a little bit of brown to the tip you know just to say this this one's yep and uh, this one is going to be lighter i think It doesn't really matter so so much which ones are light and which ones are dark, but the idea is to do different. So that if you've got a dark one, put a light one next to it. Now this is the top of the leaf. This is the underneath of the leaf. So chances are this is going to be darker. And see how I'm doing the strokes following the direction of the leaf. And so this one will make this a little lighter because this is the underneath of the leaf. If it's too light, well, we just make it darker. I think that'll be good. So this is the continuum of that one. Okay. Um, I, I obviously had a little bit more yellow in that one and I had a little bit of brown. So I'm going to add more brown to that one. Again, it's all that uh, contrasting. That's what we want. And these, uh, they're down here. Well, one could be almost blue, maybe just a little. This one, I think. Yeah. See a darker color. And this one, we're going to make it lighter. Again, 
the contrast between the, the two. And the underneath again, we could, but we, you know, we could even make that brown. I'm just adding a little bit of brown because I've got it on my brush and uh, it just makes some some accents. This is a nice sort of messy who knows what down here so we just uh, add some some uh, whatever's on the brush. So that, okay. Um, Add a little green in there. All right. Now, um, of course, with the Chinese brush painting, we don't need to indicate where the ground is. This one, she has a little bit of ground that she's on, and it could be green or it could be brown. I'm going to just add a little bit of brown, not too dark. And I, I put some dots and dashes down here apparently. So we'll 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 add a little bit of brown in there as well. Just don't be too deliberate with these things. And since we put color down here, then we need to put a little bit on the other side as well. So there they are, they, they are definitely frolicking down here. And uh, this one has been left out in the cold. Um, I, I, I think I, I like the white chest on that one. I think I'm going to leave that one. sort of diddling this is that it's a it's a technical term it means just sort of adding a little bit here and a little bit there this is all going to dry very light all right there we are back again <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. I had fun painting those frogs with you. And uh, if you go to my website, uh, you'll see quite a few more frogs. And those may give you some ideas. I hope they do. Happy painting and happy frogs. <laughs>